Nice to meet you. Hi, what's your name? Oh, uh, uh, Brad. B R A D. Nice to meet you, Brad. Me too. Love your appreciate style. It. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate it. Um, uh, you were amazing in Bill and Ted. It's remarkable. Most Thank you. Thank you so much. And I love, I love this your style too, and all the films, especially Terrorizer. I know you worked with uh, Charles Band on that. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I love doing that film. Susie Putterman. Yeah. <laughs> And, and we have similar hair there, right? Yeah, yeah, we do. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. So, was there a movie that you wanted to make that you weren't able to make yet? Oh, gosh. There's so many. I mean, there's so many. It's hard to even. Yeah? But, um, yeah. I mean, I, I I wish I was in Bill and Ted's Face of the Music. I wish I had been in that. Oh, that was an amazing one. Yeah, just because of the nostalgia of it. Yeah. Just, I just think it's, it's fun to bring back characters. But... There's been rumors that they may make a part four, though. They should, because they should bring... Uh, I really think that they need to make the story about the young girls. Yeah. The, it's their time now. That it's, would be cool. You know, and maybe they'll meet princess. Yeah. You never know, some princess some place, so that could be kind of fun. And I've seen you, you've done horror movies, too. Was there a specific horror movie you weren't able to do that you wish you could have done? Good question. I wish I was uh, actually in Nightmare on Elm Street so I could have worked with yeah. um, Amanda Wiss and Heather Langan because they're my friends. Yeah. So it would have been really fun. Um, but you know it's very interesting. It would be very cool to do a movie where all the screen queens yeah. now get together and do it. So That I, would I be amazing. Yeah, really cool to get us all together and fight all our bad guys. And then, and then like you have like Kane Hodder um, as, the, as, the, as the slasher killing everybody. That would be that work for me. I would easily pay a hell of a lot for to see that. Yeah. I would easily do that. Let me buy my ticket now. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. Okay. All right, so I make this out to you. Oh, yeah, Brad. Brad, okay, good. Thank you for telling me. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So what's, what's your worst fear? Because, like, you really seem fearless to me. Oh, thank you. Being dead. Yeah? <laughs> that is scary. It. Being dead yeah, is being scary. Being dead, you know, what, although... I was always a fan of the blob. Yeah, the blob <laughs> too. Blob was yeah. my first horror film, and I loved it. It was the first film that scared me when I was little, and I loved the blob. Oh, wow. But you know what my favorite movie was? Invisible Man. Yeah? Love that movie. Something about that, but what you don't see always scares me more than what you see. And I see you're a fan of music, so like, what band or what singer would you want to do a collaboration with? Yeah. <laughs> what band's he, he in? He's in a band called Swatches, um, yeah. but he also writes his own music. If you look up Nick De Laurentiis, he oh. is epic. His music is poetic. Yeah. He is um, he's a bass player, um, but he is incredible. His music's awesome, and I he, he's pretty he's great. So I mean, but, I mean, also Jake Hayes, I'm like yeah. Jake Hayes because he's awesome. Also, he does the like, '80s kind of style. Yeah. Love his music. Yeah. Um, which you gotta check out. It's um, sober. I think it's called sober. You have to check but it out. But anyway, so JK is Nick De Laurentiis, um, and then of course, and in the 80s, love everything. I love David Bowie. I love yeah. You know, um, oh my god, there's just too many. Tiffany's amazing. You know, Tiffany, um, I do this thing called 80s in the sand. Yeah. And I, she might have been there, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> do you like 80s? Yes, I do love 80s. My mom's actually from the 70s. Oh, okay. My dad's from the 60s. Interesting. Yeah. You know, it's really... I, what I like about the 80s is it's an upbeat time. Yeah. So, if anybody's interested, I just actually wrote my own song video. It's a code song. 
Yeah. And it's based on the quote that I wrote for, uh, that I wore for Better Off Dead. Yeah. So if you like it, if you check it out on YouTube, check it out. It's totally, but it's upbeat. I had the song with that same upbeat. Yeah. And I'm an Aquarius. Okay, I think big. All right. 